traders. This is Tepdan here from breakingoptions.com. And this is our new series, Trade of the Week, which will be being released either on Saturday or Sunday. And this week's Trade of the Week is FedEx. So what do we see? FedEx had a nice gap up recently, uh, held through in a very consolidative zone and took another leg up. So FedEx right now, looks like it might be running out of a little steam. We did cross above that 165.05 weekly line. So that is our pivot for a downside trade. What else do we see in FedEx? We are overbought on the daily. So I do think FedEx is due for a pullback. We're extended off the five EMA and we are extended off the eight EMA. So we will be looking at a downside trade for FedEx, but we will also leave the option open for an upside trade. Um, more evidence of a downside movement is we look at the ATR channels and we can see FedEx is three standard deviations up. Could it possibly get one more day out of it? Yes, it could be. Then it would be extended out of its ATR channel. And 95% of the time when a stock is extended outside of its ATR channel, it pulls back in. So that is more evidence that FedEx is extended on the daily. And also we have some short term negative momentum in FedEx on the 15, on the 30, obviously on the five, the 60 is coming down and the four hours coming down. So I just think it needs a little break. What is our price targets to the downside on FedEx? My ultimate price target this week for the downside on FedEx is around 160.42. I think our first stop will be filling the extension right here at 162.53. The orange lines are daily lines. The white lines are weekly lines. Um, our ultimate goal would be that 160.42. How do we come to that level? It would fill to the eight, which is normal, and also bring us to the top of that range. What else do we see? We go down to the one hour. We have the 55 EMA right at 160.42 on the hourly. So that is where I think we're going, guys, this week on FedEx. Uh, potentially Monday or Tuesday. We have to see what it does. But we also have to leave the option open for an upside move. For the downside move in FedEx, I would be looking early in the week at those 160 options, guys. 160 options, that is, well, that's roughly what you're gonna pay. Looks like I'll probably get in at, I would say a dollar 30 is a fair price for those. It's got a nice delta of 24. So to get 100% on that is very likely and it does match up for the technicals. Now, what about the upside for FedEx? In case we keep pushing, and also just for reference, guys, the IYT, which is the ETF that tracks the transports, was up 6% this week, outperforming the SPY. Okay, so what is our upside target? I think, and my trigger would be, if we break above basically 166, which we're there and hold on a 10 minute, um, we have room to the upside. Our first target would be 168.34. If we do clear that level, we will get into this cluster of 171.11 and 171.78. It would take quite a bit to get above that cluster, guys. Why? Because if we go all the way back here, that will be a gap we haven't filled in ages, almost a year. So that will fill the bottom of the wick. This is a weekly. And then if we wanna say it really does have the power to get above that, 172.36, but that is some strong resistance, guys. What would I use for the upside trade on this? With FedEx at this level, I would use the 170 calls. They are nice and liquid. 800, they traded 1300 on Friday, and those would cost about $1.50. Nice 31 delta, so the same. It gives us about 100% to move in FedEx. And that would also lead to, which could happen Monday, the push up. 
it could lead to the extension out of the zone. So it could be a two-way trade. We could get that first Monday or Tuesday up, and then we could pull back into the ATR channels. As, like I said, a stock can not stay extended above its ATR channels. We did form a good base zone here, consolidation zone. So I do, I am leaning bearish on FedEx. Be patient, wait for your triggers. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me, tepton at breakingoptions.com or go to breakingoptions.com and you will find the support link. Also this month, the rest of the month, we have a special with any silver or gold membership. You will get classes for free for life. Classes are the most important part of trading because you need to learn what is going on and how to do all these things. How do you build your weeklies? How do you build your dailies? What EMAs to use? All these are provided to you in the classes. All the indicators, everything you see in all my videos. Hope you have a good weekend and safe trading Monday. Thank you.